So we're here at the example table, and in this video we're going to look at a mean value theorem example. So let's just remind ourselves about the basic idea of what the mean value theorem says. So we have some function like this. It's nice and differentiable, and we're looking at how it behaves on this interval from A to B. In particular, the slope of this line, right? the average rate of change. The mean value theorem says that this slope is actually witnessed somewhere in this interval by the derivative. So if you imagine taking this line and dragging it down or up, keeping it, uh, keeping it with the same slope, you'll eventually hit this point. And here you can see that the derivative has the same value as the slope of this line. In fact, in this case, you can also take this line and drag it up and you'll eventually hit this point. So here, we have two values. Let's just look at uh, this guy here. Let's call this value c. So what the mean value theorem says is that there is always a c between a and b, such that the derivative at c is this slope. So this slope is f of b minus f of a over b minus a. Right? That's what the mean value theorem says. So let's look at an example. Let's consider the function f of x equals 2x cubed plus x plus 5 on the interval 1, 4. So let's find the average rate of change of f on this interval. We'll need f of 4 and f of 1. So f of 4 is 2 times 4 cubed plus 4 plus 5. 4 cubed is 64. 2 times 64 is 128. So this is 128 plus 4 plus 5, which is 9. So this is 137. Now let's look at f of 1. f of 1, we plug in 1 here, we get 2, and then plus 1, plus 5, this is 8. So we want to find the average rate of change. That's going to be f of 4 minus f of 1 over 4 minus 1. And this is 120. 9 over 3. Actually, 129 over 3 simplifies to 43. So the mean value theorem says that the derivative of f must take on the value 43 in at least one place in the interval from 1 to 4. So let's verify that. f prime of x is 6x squared plus 1. If we set this equal, to 43 and solve for x, what happens? Let's move the 1 to the other side. We get 6x squared equals 42. Divide both sides by 6. x squared equals 7. And we take the square root of both sides and we get x equals the square root of 7. And the square root of 7 is indeed in the interval from 1 to 4.